Welcome to Ella. This is the most popular spot for most people who visit in Sri Lanka and it's famous for its incredible nature, amazing hikes and waterfalls and charming tea plantations. And honestly guys, it's so nice here. We are in love with this place. We're staying in a beautiful hotel right outside of Ella in a little town called Badula. And we can see the famous Ella to Candy train passing by when we're having breakfast. We cannot wait to show you around this place. We are already at our first stop. This is Dunhinda Waterfalls. This amazing waterfall that you see behind me is 25 kilometers away from the center of Ella. And as you can see, it's so, so beautiful. You basically park your car or tuk-tuk on the side of the road and then you walk like one and a half kilometers. And there's a bunch of little restaurants and shops selling all kinds of stuff. And it's a pretty easy walk to get to this viewing platform. It took like 25 minutes or something like that. And from here, you can get really great views, take your pictures, but you can also go down. And we're gonna do that so we can get better shots. And so you guys, the only downside is that you cannot go in the waterfall, which sucks because it's kind of hot. And also, side note, there are a lot of monkeys everywhere and we made the mistake to pack bananas. So we just had to get rid of them. We threw them into the wild so they could have them because they were terrifying us. So don't bring food. <laughs> Also guys, we forgot to mention that Google Maps sends you in the completely wrong direction. So we were lost on the side of the mountain and thankfully a friendly local saw us and he guided us through the right way. Two kilometers. Two kilometers. You can see? Hmm? Can you see it? You can see it? Oh. Uh, sign? Oh, map? No. Map no. No. Okay. 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 <laughs> no map no. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, main road. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we're gonna put a PDF in the description with all the addresses and like general tips and directions so you guys can find all the places that we're gonna visit in this video. Up to stop number two. It's time to head to the famous Nine Arches Bridge. And this is who's taking us there. This is our Tuk Tuk Alia, that means elephant in Sinhala. And if you're new around here, this is our seventh video with the Tuk Tuk in Sri Lanka. We're gonna post our, our link, link <laughs> travel series here. We're gonna spend about four weeks going all throughout Sri Lanka in this baby. So join us. She's a little tough to get in, but we love her. It's not her, it's you, okay? Yeah, it's my lanky <laughs> legs. Let's go. This is my job. Here it is, the one and only Instagram famous bridge outside of Ella. This is actually a pretty cool spot. The bridge is very impressive and there's people all over like walking on the tracks. I figured out why, because there's a lot of space on the side of the tracks. I always wondered when I was watching videos of people in Ella, like what the hell are they doing walking on the tracks? But it seems pretty safe. You can go on both sides and it's very impressive. It's nine arches as the name implies. And I think they built it this way because during the period that it was built, there were a lot of wars happening in Europe. I think specifically the Great War and there was a steel shortage or they didn't want to send steel this way. So they built everything here with concrete and stone and they made the beautiful Nine Arches Bridge. It's and pretty cool. Waiting for the train. We're waiting for the train. Everyone's waiting for the train. We heard it's coming at 3.30. It's now 3.16, but we also heard that they often run late. So we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. 
Where's the wheel? Out. Mic drop. <clears throat> Every second that you're off, it's a wasted second. Now it restarts. We're going. Wait, how much longer? Why? Do you think someone's going to walk? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Well, that is our cue to leave because a kid just literally pushed our camera and almost broke the lens. There's a and chip in the lens, but thankfully I don't yeah, think you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see it. But we've been waiting for two hours and no train. So hopefully we can find a cool drone shot to show you how it looks. Is it worth it? I don't know. The bridge is beautiful. Worth it to wait for the train? It always runs late, so there's no yeah, way to know when it's exactly. coming. Yeah, so exactly. You can check the schedule. schedule but yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Just as we were about to leave, obviously, they just announced the train. so close but it was kind of cute to see everyone just saying hi <laughs> that was so scary <laughs> yeah what were you doing here you psycho there and i was like i got all so <laughs> but it lasted like 30 seconds and then well, now we can go we're on our way on a little hike to go into the caves known as nodinia pokuna it's kind of a off the beaten track thing to do here in ella it's supposed to be beautiful we have a guide. We have a guide and a cow obstruction. Hi, cow. Thank you. Admit. Admit. Time to enter the darkness. I'm starting to get a little bit scared. <laughs> what? I don't know. Do you see the hole that we have to go through? <laughs> we have protection. Okay. Very good. We're in. Into the dark. Where is it slippery? Oh. Okay. Put that camera away. Okay. You're doing great. Yeah. And down we go. <laughs> okay. I'm in. <laughs> I, I fit very well. <laughs> Seems like white t-shirts was not the right call for this one. Yeah, we're nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, big spider. The spider, no danger. No danger. The lion, no danger. Animal, no danger. Danger people. Yes. <laughs> we saw the water. It's gonna feel good to jump in. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Just swimming in a 5,000 year old cave. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like cold water, but this is pretty unique. Okay, so we're people. People. <laughs> Out of the cave. Now you can see why not the white t-shirt. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> nice and clean. Look, I was just in a cave. <laughs> yeah. That was so cool guys. So like the whole experience lasts like about two hours 
and it was so special we it all happened very quickly we had no idea what to expect but i think we got the best guide his name is San santa i think it's his name and he tried to tell us so many special things about life and it was such a spiritual experience it was beautiful and we were also so lucky that we got there and there was no one there so we were swimming in this thing like looks basically like a cenote like the ones we saw in mexico we had it all to ourselves and it was so quiet and special and the guide he was he loved the place so much so it made the whole experience amazing it was quite the workout but that's perfect because we're heading to the number four thing that you have to do when you come to ella So one of the essential things to do while in Ella is to get a meal with a view and we yes. picked the perfect spot. We didn't know that the train would pass by here, but we had to run down and get the drone up. That's why I'm a little bit out of breath. It was a really cool setting. So, so beautiful. We had no idea and it was so special. It really makes it makes it perfect, right? Uh -huh. Because the train is such a big part of, of yeah. Ella. Anyways, we are trying Sri Lankan food. We have had obviously a ton, but we haven't shown you much. Maybe There's some monkey. monkey back there. <laughs> Oh, here go the dots. <laughs> so we haven't featured a lot of Sri Lankan food in our videos yet, but today we're going to try a couple of things that we have had a lot of mm -hmm. already. And it's yellow or dal curry with hoppers and... Lump rice. So this is a bunch of delicious things in a banana leaf, made fresh. I know it's going to be so good because they just took us to the kitchen. They just made everything fresh. We saw him pick the banana leaf from the garden yeah. and it just like wrapped everything so beautiful. Oh, we got the coconut sambal. I think okra, lentils, some kind of like squash or pumpkin and the beans. I can't wait to dig in. This right here, coconut sambal, is one of my favorite things on the planet. It's like shredded coconut. I just punch myself in the chin and I throw in some like chili peppers and it's just a, kind of like a condiment or a garnish and just ties everything together That's with some so spice. Good. It's so Delicious. This is beautiful. And a lot of the food here is vegetarian, so it's very easy to eat relatively healthy, I think. <laughs> it's made with love. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sri Lankan food is definitely up there with one of my favorites ever. There's just so much flavor packed mm -hmm. into every bite. Oh, and this one particularly is just so fresh. All these veggies. Yum. Delicious. It's really good. I believe you. I know. <laughs> I'm telling the people. <laughs> Bonus points. They have a book that we can write. They have so many nice notes. This is so cute. Oh. I love this place. You have to come to this place and write something here and find ours. So for number five on this list of incredible things to do in Ella is a hike. And it's not the biggest, it's not the baddest, but it is a wonderful hike to Little Adams Peak. And it's supposed to be the most epic spot in town for the sunset. So that's what we're doing. We're just walking through these tea plantations. It's pretty awesome. I do have to admit, we cheated a little bit. We drove the tuk-tuk pretty far up. I think it's like 20 minutes to the beak. <laughs> but that's how we roll. Let's go. Oh. We found our people. Tuk-tuk rentals. Alias little brothers and sisters. I'm pretty jealous of the lime green one. <laughs> this one's beautiful. Nice. Oh, that is a beauty. We should buy a tuk-tuk one day. <laughs> sure. Oh, what's up? <laughs> Eyes on the trail. For $15, you can get your photo taken. This seems like a really nice photo. I didn't bring my fancy red dress. You get drunk enough at the pool club. Yeah, there's the a really convincing. random pool club. <laughs> oh well, let's continue the hike. It's a very nice hike, honestly, and it's very easy. And we're surrounded by tea plantations. And I think this is the most tea thing that we're doing in this video because we're not really tea fans, but tea is a big deal here. This is the main like source of income, right? For Sri Lanka, I think. Yeah, this area. This area. So, but I was waiting to say my joke that tea is not our cup of tea. 
It's a lot of flies. Whoa. Whoa. That's pretty wild. Everyone okay? Whoa. I don't think Gordon is ready to do that again. <laughs> oh my god, we're so high up. Holy. Oh, I'm not gonna look down. I can't look down. We made it guys, that was such a beautiful walk. The whole time you're surrounded by tea plantations and mountains and you can see Ellis Rock. It's not exactly a hike because it's mostly paved so you just go up the steps for like 20 minutes but it's totally worth it. I don't know if you can see behind me but it's a little bit hazy today so we don't have a great shot of the sun but we got some drone shots so you guys can see it too. It's very beautiful here. And this is how we're gonna say goodbye to Ella. We hope you liked the video. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Remember, there's a PDF in the description with everything that there is to do here. And tomorrow we're gonna drive our tuk-tuk from Ella to Candy, trying to follow the same train route as much as possible. You know that famous train? Well, we're gonna try to do that in a tuk-tuk. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to follow the Sri Lanka travel series. Thank you for watching, bye.